Hi guys, today we're going to be working on this purple swirl design and I haven't quite made up my own mind whether I like it or not but I still decided to show you the tutorial just in case you guys like it more than I do. So as you can see on my index finger here I'm starting out with a base of Orly Charged Up which is this purple cream and I'm going to go with Sally Hansen Bejeweled and draw a spiral using just the normal polish brush. If you wanted, you could certainly use more of a detail brush to be able to um, have a little more control. But I'm just going to start off by sweeping from the bottom and then around the side in kind of an arc. And then I'm going to come more toward the tip of my nail and go around like that. You can kind of see the swirl taking shape there. And then I'm just going to round it off on this side and fill in the glitter anywhere that it looks like a little bare spot. So you see I've got just the one swirl of plain purple and then the rest of the nail is got the glitter. So I'm going to let that dry just a little bit. doesn't have to be fully dry, just kind of dry to the touch so that it doesn't move around when I do my next step in this design. So I'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Alright, so now that our glitter is mostly dry, I'm going to go back in with Orly Charged Up and I'm going to go basically around the tip of the nail. And this is the part that I wasn't quite sure turned out how I wanted. Um, in my head I wanted it more like uh, my Girl on Fire water marble where the glitter really popped underneath the color and it was okay in my tests but on the nail it's just kind of not that impressive but you know that's kind of my thought process behind it I wanted you know three different finishes and kind of textures for the same color and it didn't turn out quite how I wanted it but Guess what? That's how you learn and that's how you get better. And, you know, I'm not always flawless. My manicures don't always turn out how I intend them. But this is how this one turned out. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And as always, thanks for watching. So, I've decided that, in fact, I don't like this well enough to wear it. But it is uh, just slightly past midnight, so I don't have time to do a complete change of manicure. So I thought I'd show you guys my quick fix, which in this case is Essie Shine of the Times. And a lot of times if you have, you know, a glitter or a flaky or, you know, any other polish, you don't have to change your entire manicure. Just cover it up. So I'm going to see what happens when I layer some flakies on this. I'm thinking it should pretty much camouflage the swirls um, and just give it a very sparkly finish. So I'm not sure how well this is going to show up on camera since flakies can be a little on the finicky side but hopefully you can see the difference as I have it on these three and this one is still bare. I'm just going to finish off that index finger and my thumb. So, and you know any flaky would do for this if you have actual hidden treasure, if you have some of the finger plates finger paints flakies and there you can see it kind of hides like I said that French tip part that I attempted to do and just generally softens up the lines of the whole design so I think I like that a little bit better 
Um, still not my favorite, but I've uh, learned long since that I am my own worst critic. So that's what I decided to do. Hope you guys like this look also. So thanks for watching.